very good evening ladies and gentlemen now may i request rotaria naresh advani past president to play our members intro video Welcome and good evening to the hero of the evening, Padma Shri S. Ramakrishnan, and our RI Director Elect Rotarian Mahesh Kodpagi, all the district officials, aunts, aunts, and my dear Rotarians, warm welcome to seven Parupakari Award. The only problem we face in life are self-imposed limitations. Helping others. 
is looking at the unlimited possibilities and potentials we have, ladies and gentlemen. Paropakaram, midam sariram. This body and soul is meant to help others. With this note, we have launched the one and only Paropakari Award and we are sharing the seventh Paropakari Award this evening. With this note, I would like to request President Sharat to call the meeting to order and follow himself. The seventh Parokkari Award meeting is called to order. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it's my pleasure to invite and welcome Mrs. Ramakrishnan also. Let's start this evening function by speaking the divine blessing. May I request gorgeous Akila to start this program by invocation song. Over to you, Akila. Shri Gananadaya Namaste Shri Gauri Nandanaya Namaste Gananadaya Namaste Ganadi Sandotha Vignahara Naya Ganadi Sandotha Vignahara Naya Gandharva Sevita Gajavada Naya Mani Maya Mahuda Malati Haraya Mahadeva Guru Guha Sametaya Moshika Vangana Modana Karaya Muna Kantaya Mukti Pradaya Ganana Daya Namaste Shri Gauri Nandanaya Namaste Ganana Daya Namaste Thank you. Thank you, Akila. Thank you for speaking the blessing with your amazing voice. Thank you so much. And it's customary in Roti Grindi to deliver the four vetas. May I invite our aunt Sujata to deliver the four vetas? Okay. The four vetas. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Thank you. Thank, Thank you Rana. so much. Thank you so much, aunt Sujata. And to our RI director elect and the district officials, the speciality of this program is the entire program is done by the ants of Roti Club of Gindi. Thank you so much, Ant, for that. And now, may I request Ant Manjula to deliver the thoughts of the day. Thank you, Radha. The thoughts of the day. The, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. The best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good things happen, you will fill the world with hope. You will fill yourself with hope. Thank you. Thank you, Manjula. That absolutely syncs with our team, Joy of Giving. Thank you so much. Now over to you, President, for your welcome address. A student visited his wise guru to get his advice on life and his vocation. Guru, Please guide me, which vocation should I choose in my life to be happy and a satisfied human? The Guru told him, My dear young friend, please choose service to humanity. This vocation has the least competition and with your good intentions, you will succeed in that. Like the students, we Rotarians have chosen Rotary as a passion and we all are doing small acts of good deeds, which multiplies to great actions in our communities. With these words, I warmly welcome Chief Guest Rotary International Director Elect Rotarian Dr. Mahesh Kodbagi, Galaxy of District Officials, and today's awardee, the seventh Parobakari awardee, Padmashri S. Ramakrishnan, and well wishers and all the friends of Amar Seva Samajam, my dear RCGNs and their families, especially. Thanks for doing such a wonderful show today evening. My co-presidents, co-secretaries and friends from other Rotary Clubs across India and the world and friends also from a sister club, special invitees and also the prospects who have shown interest to join our club. 
Welcome one and all to the seventh edition of Parabagari Award. The Avenue Information of our club. The club service director, Kritika, the month of Jan 2021 was a, indeed an action packed one. We celebrated our 26th Charter Night on 9th of January in person at Hayat Regency. Nearly 125 members and their families attended. A big thank you, thanks to the Charter Night Chairman, Past President Sunil Katri, for giving us a memorable evening. Indeed, it was truly amazing and everybody had a great gala time. The Zoom meeting with Mr. Santanam was a great informative treasure trove on Chennai on the 26th of this month. And yesterday we had a RCG day out at our Masanta Maligai, a farmhouse owned by Rotarian Anuradha. And thanks even Chairman Uves and Anuradha for hosting us in your farmhouse. On the vocational front, Satya, you have been doing great activities in the last seven months. To name a few, the Innovative Teachers Day Award, awarding to 115 teachers of our own schools and colleges, train the trainer, Idrona program, along with CTS, close to 40 teachers were trained and more than 100 in pipeline, training five youth in paramedical support and initiative of RILM and Apollo hospitals, where the students, where the youth have qualified and only our club of our district 3232 was selected for this pilot project. Our director, community service, Rotarian Srikant, has worked over time to fulfill the request placed by Sorfati, an organization run by Ms. Preeti Srinivas, our second Parapakari Award. We raised close to 7 lakhs to provide 55 wheelchairs, and the wheelchairs are safe in our inspired center. We will have a formal function inauguration in the month of Feb end or March 2021. We are also planning to upgrade the residential facilities of the Boys Master at Seva Pet, our adopted village Alato, which is managed by Udavam Nanbargal, uh, which is run by Sarthi and his friends, where a lot of backward, economically backward uh, youth, the boys, are staying there uh, who don't have parents or single parents or some trouble at home. So Sarthi has made this boys hostel a, a second home for them so we are planning to build and add more area into this building and thanks to our board which has approved this project and the spend is roughly around 25 lakhs and we would start executing this project in the month of feb and i'm sure in no time we will be able to raise funds for this project with the help of members of this wonderful club the month of december saw our community service director Vishnu Srinivas holding a health screening camp. Now everything is opening up, so we will have more camps in the near weeks and months. And thanks to Rich International School, Mangada, which is owned by our Rotarian Shaktivel for organizing this camp. The youth service director Sridharan has been very busy in keeping our rotaractors and interactors very busy for the last seven months, and we will start engaging in in person activities very soon. Great going. Our international director, past president Naresh, has brought the international arena into our fingertips and into our laptops. Great going from his side. Now our club has more sister clubs and friends, Rotarians across the world as our very good friends. Today, in fact, we visited Savita Hospital where we donated mother's breast milk bank and neonatal equipments on the same day last year. We didn't know that today is the first anniversary. We just went there and incidentally and very fortunately, this happened to be the first anniversary and memories were rushing when this project was executed, uh, started in your year and executed during the pre presidents of Shivaraman. Great going and special thanks to our sister club members, Rotary Club of Malau Star Malaysia for supporting this wonderful project. And I was told today and our team along with Kadar and Sri Sundar went there. I was told today they have saved 50 babies till now. 50 babies till now in the last one year. Indeed, a great deal. Our PR chairman Rafiq is doing a fantastic job in all our events and also in today's event. We have dedicated Facebook page and YouTube channel and all our meetings are recorded and uploaded there. And a few of us, the events are also covered by the press. Rafiq did a great job during our 26th Charter Night celebration. Kudos, Rafiq. Special thanks to his spouse, Rotarian Jamima. The membership director, Vijay Anand, is 
planning to increase another 10 more members to our already 102 members kudos vijay and foundation chair anantha session should be a very happy man indeed we have already got the funds for two global grants each to a tune of $50000 for six dialysis machines each one one set of six dialysis machines at savita where we visited today to start executing the project and the second global grant at pillar hospital port blair and the mans and today we got the intimation from ri that the funds have been approved for that today has been a great day and to add the feather uh, we are also awarding the paropakari award to sri s ramakrishna with that we have done close to us dollars 1 lakh global grant projects within the first 7 months of this rotary year thanks to the generous contribution from members and sister club members in malaysia australia and mauritius shri ram polio chairman shri ram has raised close to 3500 dollars for end polio campaign and our club is one of the top 3 clubs in the district for the contributions and 31st january we have a national immunization day where we would assemble at the allotted booth in kotorpuram primary health center request members to come for this camp at 9 am i thank the club trainer kadir club advisor rotarian venuji and my ever encouraging ever supporting board all the past presidents of this wonderful club and members of rcg for extending the best cooperation in one of the toughest years ever big thank you on and all our club thing for this year joy of giving what more happiness can we get when we just love what we do and do what we love and the parapakari award is one such result thank you and enjoy the evening thank you very much thank you president for giving us that amazing year even during the pandemic time it's a jam packed rotary gindi i can say thank you so much for that now stay glued to the screen we are going to move to the most awaited agenda of today's evening program in hindu mythology lord rama went through a lot of difficulties but at the end he won over the evil to the peace and the harmony of mankind similarly next yuga lord krishna had many difficulties and obstructions but in the end krishna was victorious which benefited common people to understand these stories we need to wait for two yugas or at least read two books but ladies and gentlemen we are fortunate to have them together in the form of ramakrishnan padmasri ramakrishnan today to know more about the awardi may I request our past president to play a short av one minute one minute i have kept the other video before this shall yeah, we yeah. shall we introduce the other awardees who have already won yeah, today uh, uh, i think you can introduce the six awardees so far six. okay now the av is going to be about the six paropakari awards that rotary gindi has proudly presented over to go for the av
Can we know about Ram Kishan Radha? Yes. So, we now move on to the AV of our seventh Paropakari awardee, Padma Shri is Ramakrishna. So, this is the AV presentation of our seventh Paropakari awardee, is Ramakrishna. Programs on All India Radio about the challenged persons, their rights, their achievements motivated a man to start an organization named Amar Seva Sangam. Namaskar. I am Ramakrishna. I hail from Aikudi near the famous Kutara Falls. When I was doing my fourth year engineering, I went for naval officer selection. Born in an agricultural family, Mr. Ramakrishnan was all set to join the Navy after completing his bachelor's in mechanical engineering. But perhaps God had set far greater plans for this young man. During his fourth year, he fell down and sustained fractured dislocation of his cervical spine. With series of ineffective treatments, Eventually, Mr. Ramakrishnan had to accept the wheelchair life for the rest of his life. But rather than drowning into the darkness, the setback motivated this young man to look at life from a different perspective. In 1981, it was declared as the International Year of the Disabled by the United Nations. And I also found many uh, polio children uh, uh, roaming in the village. So I discussed with the doctors regarding this. And in 1981, in the name of my doctor, Air Marshal Amar Kishan Chan, we started this institution, Amar Seva Sangam. Starting with Siva Saraswati Vidyale, a kindergarten school only with five kids and a teacher, Amar Seva Sangam gradually started growing with support from friends and family and through word of mouth. Orchestrating various other activities like organizing awareness camps on family planning, polio eradication, measles, immunization, etc. Enabling access to education, skill development for the physically challenged in the region were an ambitious dream for a man like Mr. Ramakrishnan who himself needed support to carry out his day-to-day -day activities. But his physical challenges could not deter him. He was determined to live to serve. Words had spread via TV channels, magazines and newspapers and Mr. Ramakrishnan started several schemes, travelling places to meet people for mobilising more funds to expand his organisation. Mr. Ramakrishnan cannot thank enough for the immense support he received during his initial days of struggle for fundraising be it Ramachandran, the taxi driver of Chennai, or the famous author and activist Shiva Shankari, or Sulochana Srinivasan of Mumbai, who went to great lengths to raise funds to buy a land for Amar Seva Sangam. The list is endless. However, he admits, the greatest pillars for his achievements are undoubtedly his parents and siblings, who always stood beside him, supporting unconditionally against his every decision. In 1994, he tied knot with Mrs. Lakshmi, who has been an important part of his personal life, bringing solidarity for the cause of disabled to lead family life. However, meeting Mr. Shankara Raman in 1991 and his decision to join Amar Seva Sangam was a major turning point for Mr. Ramakrishnan. He had visions and dreams for creating a valley for the disabled people, which was a concept which uh, amazed me a lot. In spite of being wheelchair user due to muscular dystrophy, Mr. Raman's visionary quality along with his organizational skills took Amar Seva Sangam to phenomenal heights. Together Mr. Ramakrishnan and Mr. Raman created the Valley for the Disabled in the region fighting all odds. Today, 
Amar Seva Sangam has an impressive array of work that it does in the field of disability management. Lined up with extraordinary initiatives, the organization is currently spread over a 30-acre land with home for physically challenged children with free shelter, food, education, clothing, barrier-free environment, Sangamam School for Special Children, Vocational and Distant Learning Centers for the Specially Challenged Youths, Orthotic Center for Manufacturing and Repairing of Mobility Aiding Appliances, Spinal Cord Injured Post-Acute Care Center, Early Intervention Center for the Infants for Rehabilitation. The team has also devised various village-based initiatives for the rehabilitation of the disabled by creating grassroots level institutions known as self-help groups involving the differently abled communities itself. This would have never been possible without Mr. Ramakrishnan's endeavor. For you to do some service planning, sir, the area of Kalakalan, all of them, Benny, all of them, you to go. If you want to do one more, one more, all of them, you to go. My just a thousand people who are Sahara are unmit there. Ramakrishnan, sir, my today is not like a cardinal matter. This simple approach and uh, commitment has helped the organization to. benefit large number of beneficiaries over the past 30 years he has been doing wonders i was moved he is a man on wheels but he is moving 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 people and i'm one of those people who have been moved by his action mr ramakrishnan's ability to create a big uh, uh, network of people and personalities is possible because of his uh, compassion approach for the various activities The fantastic work of Mr Ramakrishnan has not gone unnoticed noticed in January 2020 Mr S Ramakrishnan was conferred with the Padma Shri the fourth highest civilian award in the Republic of India for his contribution towards the society he has also been appreciated with numerous awards from time to time honored as a human wonder recognized with the unstoppable indian award and many other accolades a hero who has transformed thousands of lives who still stays humble silently moving ahead we have full faith in god god has been guiding us in the right path in life ladies and gentlemen we are dumbstruck we have tears in our eyes and we get goosebumps this is one such moment if god is there in any form he is in the form of our s ramakrishnan thank you and namaskaram to you sir now over to our president to do do the honors of award can i request aunt sai meera to read the citation please uh, unmute yourself sai meera yeah right am i audible uh, yes you are you are thank you thank you so <laughs> namaskaram ram krishnan sir <laughs> it's a privilege and honor for me to read this uh, i'm really honored to be given an opportunity to read out the citation for the paropakari award Uh, presented on behalf of rotary club of kindi uh, to shri s ramakrishnan founder president of amar seva sangam shri s ramakrishnan is a founder president of amar seva sangam which is acclaimed for its path breaking work in the field of rehabilitation of people with disabilities born in salem ramakrishnan shri ramakrishnan started his schooling in tanjavur and later moved to aikudi in early 1970s he joined the government college of technology coimbatore to pursue a, the course in mechanical engineering when he was in his fourth year he was called to attend an interview for selection of officers in the navy on that fateful day the 10th of january 1975 while undergoing a physical uh, test exercise as a part of 
the interview, he suffered a fall and hurt his neck. The result, a serious cervical spine injury that led to complete loss of sensation and muscle strength below his neck, accompanied by impaired bladder and bowel control. After a three-month initial treatment at the Air Force Command Hospital in Bangalore, he was shifted to the military hospital Khadki, Pune. The next 10 months were spent in series of rehabilitation programs. An accident of this severity leading to permanent damage would normally leave the person devastated, wallowing in self-pity and seeking sympathy. Instead, the iron will of Sri Ramakrishnan, fortified by the conti continuous encouragement of his orthopedic physician, Air Marshal Dr. Amarjit Singh Chahal, motivated him to look beyond himself and think of what can be done for others who have similar afflictions. The physical support and emotional boost provided by the doctor inspired Sri Ram Krishnan to such an uh, extent that six years later, he founded the Amar Seva Sangam with the noble motto of live to serve and named it not unexpectedly after his mentor, Dr. Amarjit Singh. In 1981, Ramakrishnan started a school for children with disabilities at Aikodi on a small piece of land donated by his parents. In 1992, he was joined by an auditor, Sri Shankar Raman, who suffers from muscular dystrophy and is currently serving as the honorary secretary of the Sangam. Starting with just with a just handful of children and being involved in just a few activities related to polio prevention and rehabilitation. The institution is now spread over 30 acres, offering numerous facilities, including a hostel for trainees, an integrated high school, Siva Saraswati Vidyalaya, named after Ramakrishnan's parents, and the Ramakrishnan Rehabilitation Center for persons with physical disabilities. In addition, the campus houses a vocational training center, medical testing unit, daycare center for children with cerebral palsy and mental retardation, Special Study Center for Indira Gandhi National Open University, Early Intervention Center for the Toddlers Under 5 Years of Age. Many of these facilities, including schooling for children with disabilities and vocational training for persons with disabilities, are offered here free of cost. Sri Ramakrishnan's human efforts and demonstrated activism in the care for disab disabled has earned him several richly deserved recognition. IBN, the IBN Super Idols Lifetime Achievement Award, Rotary Club of Midras Lifetime Achievement Award, Dr. Mary Vergis Award for Excellence in Empowering Ability, Times of India, Amazing Indians Award in the category Unstoppable Indians, and many others. Last year, the government of India honored him with Padma In recognition of his rising above himself and his exemplary contribution in making a relevant and visible difference in the lives of people with disabilities, the Rotary Club of Gindi deems it an honor to confer upon Sri S. Ramakrishnan this Paropakari Award on this day, the 27th of January, 2021. It is signed by President <coughs> Rotarian Sharath Kumar, Secretary Rotarian Balachandar, Award Chairperson Rotarian Radha Krish, Director Vocational Avenue Rotarian Satinarayanan Ji. Thank you so much. President. Thank you so much. And Taimira, very well articulated. And I would also want to add on, this citation was written by none other than our citation expert, Jagannath Ramaswamy. Now, over to our awardee for his acceptance speech. Over to you, sir. Go to Gindi, he is waiting to hear. Uh, sir, Ram Krishnan, sir. Uh, so we would like to hear a few words from you. I think there is some connectivity problem. Uh, I am Shankar Raman from Amartya Sangam. Oh, great, great. Yes, sir. Please, 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 sir. Please. Yeah. Uh, I will just share my experience with Ramakrishnan. Uh, it was way back in 1985 uh, when I have just completed my CA. I read about him in an article in. Um, uh, Anand Vidhan. It was written by Shivashankari Madam. Shivashankari is a famous uh, novelist. Um, so in that she gave a cover story about him. Uh, so from that day onwards, uh, you know, I was always uh, uh, wondering uh, how this man, uh, totally born and brought up there and uh, have all the 
education and uh, rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. I was wondering that how the people are able to uh, get up so much uh, with so much of positivity. So I have been also been touring a lot in the rural areas in my young days because of my involvement in um, uh, developing the disabled, uh, you know, associations in various districts in Tamil Nadu. But I have never seen anybody who is so positive uh, in the approach and attitude. Uh, but then it so happened that in 1991, uh, that someone came, that he, uh, then what happened was, uh, uh, he sent an invitation to, uh, to me for a program in Chennai where uh, Maharaj Ibram Santanam was performing as a fundraising program. So that the particular day I fell ill because of some health issues and my father and my sister attended the program. That was in Nalbakara Sabha. <laughs> so they were so impressed and the relationship and the context developed from then on. Ah, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, sir, Shankaraman, sir. Uh, I think. Uh, Ramakrishna. Yeah, yeah. Please. Once again, he had a big project list. And uh, we are all grateful to all the Rotarians and Rotary International for eradicating polio. In fact, we started our service in 1981, and from 1982 onward, we have been closely associating with the Rotary Club of Kutalam and Kutalam Center. And in fact, we are brought up by Rotary Clubs in Kutalam. In this occasion, I would like to thank and all district governors of district. We have been honored with the for the sake of myself and Sanghana Ramana Ramana for the sake of honor award by the Rotary Club of Kutaram and Kutaram Centre. And the Rotary Club of Kumbhakaram also. Rotary Club of Trichy, Madurai, and many Rotary Clubs in Chennai have honored us. And in fact, Rotary and Vaishwagan took us to Rotary Club of I mean, Rotary Conference held at uh, uh, Salem in 1990. And, uh, Rotary in Basra and took us to uh, Rotary conference held at Kota in 1994. As far as this Paravagara is concerned, Vadam Kalana Sundaram, you all know about him. Uh, he, he was a librarian in Irakundam Kodakur College. We are sacrifices open life for the sake of children. Our silver, our mama, we in the particular one of na, make na. Our other brother, son, he used to ask, did you do any good thing today? He likes to na, when a big old na, or so to pull up with the car. So it was the, it's the duty of parents and teachers to grow the children in such a way. They will also become good citizens. One the nine months of money will have to do our whole When you meet my uh, grandfather, he was a great social worker of this locality. Another, he lived in Nulagar in Pantranga, 
they have been doing epsilon mark they are not and uh, for donors donors of trainers uh, only because of all the support we are getting from all corner and the local public we are able to uh, get recognition from people like rotary and the government side now the uh, stds efforts to uh, award thanks to onandan the thanks to what for getting us the right path many funding agencies operates in india and abroad in this way we take this opportunity to thank all of them and to request all the rotarians of uh, this uh, project of delhi to visit our institute we are proud to all of you you can have join meeting with the rotarians of india thank you so much sir thank you so much for your words and sharing your evening with rotary gindi now may i request fourth generation noble profession great intention hospital administration proud indian service orientation rotary international if i have to explain all these in two simple words it's our ri director elect dr magesh kodbagi may I request him to do the honors of giving the award yeah so can we request the rid elect to hand over the award virtually ladies and gentlemen and friends of rotary i have a pleasure here on behalf of rotary internationals member rotary club of gindi to present this award padma shri Shri S. Ramakrishnan for his human service for the special children and disabled children, and I confirm this award to Shri S. Ramakrishnan. Thank you so much, Thank sir. You. Thank 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 you. about i think yes rotary gindi welcomes you sir it's my pleasure to ask our ann nagalakshmi to introduce our kit yes good evening everyone It's my privilege to introduce RI Director Elect Dr. Mahesh Kodbagi, a doctor by education and profession, an entrepreneur by nature, a adventurist, nature lover, and globe trotter by passion, and a rotary leader by achievement. Our chief guest, RI Director Elect Dr. Mahesh Kodbagi, presents a unique fusion of capabilities and talents. Born to a family of freedom fighters and doctors. his father inspired him from a very young age to combine his professional life with social service an md in gynecology from pune university a past member of senate and a honorable professor in many management and medical colleges dr mahesh dedicated himself to the ideal of low cost healthcare he set up a small hospital in 1991 which grew into a large multi specialty hospitals with iso 9001 2000 certification He went on to serve as a consultant for the development of many low-cost healthcare hospitals. He set up the Chinmayee Medical Foundation Charitable Trust to support low-cost healthcare services and support children for education. He was invited to join the Rotary Club of Pune Sports City in 1995 and served as youngest district governor of RI District 3130 in 2005-2006. Since then, his rise in Rotary has been meteoric. He has done justice to the full range of rotary assignments including RI president's representative international training leader chairman south asia literacy literacy summit 
co-chair, vice chair of many Rotary Institutes and summits. He is the pioneer of implementing technology and AV conferences in many districts, Rotary Institutes and summits in Rotary India. His current responsibilities include chairman for Governor Elect Training Seminar 2020, co-chairman for Rotary India Literacy Mission, chairman technology for Rotary Institute 2020, and trustee in Rotary India Humanity Foundation. His command over the English language, excellent presentation skills, and a sharp sense of humor have made him a much sought after speaker at various Rotary forums. He is also an accomplished writer. He has researched and written on subjects like district rules and procedures, the Rotary Foundation, Hand Guide Promotion, Rotary International Youth Exchange Hand Guide Promotion, published audio video films on Rotary subjects, global matching grants, competitive grants, and 3 hp grants. He is a deserving recipient of today's service. Uh, Sorry, he is a deserving recipient of Rotary Service Above Self Award, TRF Citation of Meritorious Service, and the Polio Plus Appreciation Award. Dr. Mahesh is a major donor level 3 and a benefactor. Dr. Mahesh is happily married to Dr. Amita, who is also a past president, past assistant governor, trainer in many Rotary forums, and a member of Rotary Club for more than 20 years. His daughter, Dr. Chinmayi is a radiologist and another daughter, Ms. Sana, is pursuing her college education in science. An unusual facet of Dr. Mahesh is passion for bike riding, car rallies and his close association with Harley Davidson and BMW Motorrad. He loves backpacking across the world and believed in taking what the poet Robert Frost calls the road less traveled by. Uh, I'm really privileged to introduce you, sir. We are very happy to have you for the, for the evening. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna, Nagalakshmi, for that amazing introduction. And now I would like to thank Dr. Magesh for immediately accepting to share this evening with us. Dr. Magesh, the floor is yours. Namaskar. Thank you so much. Uh, more than any of this kind of introduction, I think today is a very special day that a small person like me has a privilege to honor a person who has worked for his lifetime, who has showcased service about self, none other but Padmashri Sri S. Ramakrishna. So I feel humbly that I am present here to honor this award to him. This itself is my lifetime achievement. So I think this is the only words I can tell you after seeing the entire life journey. Of Sri Ramakrishna. I was just going through, you know, so many scripts and the work what he has done. And I understood one thing the God, how he embedded the word called Amar Seva Sangam in his mind. Because I always felt to work for special children is something like a human life with the special children is a Sangam and Sangam through Seva is always to the infinite world that is called Amar and that's the way I think this entire combination of Amar, Seva and Sangam which he founded. I think sir you have been doing par excellence work for very very dedicated and devoted way you, your wife, your colleagues, your disciples and this is something which is a matchless with any other words I can imagine. I would like also to tell you, uh, when I joined Rotary 25 years back, I was invited by one of the very, very special person who was with, you know, visually completely blind. And we made him the first charter president to lead the Rotary movement in those days. So he made me a secretary and he said, I need someone who is able person to be my secretary because I cannot see with my both eyes. His name was Mr. Niranjan Bhai Pandya. Incidentally, he was also Padmashri and few years back, he has gone to the heavenly board now. But when he made me a secretary, my first thought line came up that Rotary will not meet in any hotels. Rotary will not meet in any venues which will only give the expenditure on a commercial basis. And in those days in 1995, we searched a venue called Bala Kalyan Samstha. 
So Bal Kalyan means you know something which you need to know to good to children or you know help them. So this Bal Kalyan Samstha was the place where the governor of Maharashtra had given the premises for a recreational center for specially disabled children. We took that you know entire mission in our hand and in last 25 years we made sensory gardens so children who cannot see who cannot hear sometimes who cannot even talk but with through the touch they can you know go and play in those gardens through that sensory gardens we got some expert people from rotary international world including some indian experts and we got them there we started making rotary youth leadership programs and awards in that particular school where through the sign language and through the special communication and correspondence we started teaching these children creating a great impact and confidence in them third we did special olympics which we called as olympics we took them to the swimming pools we put them to the horse riding we took them to the everything what they had their own dream and let me tell you every small small school in the rural village did not have the facility to offer this kind of a stage or this kind of a recreational place for these children so we bought some buses we did some global grants we contacted some of the corporate social responsibility people like tatas and ferodias and chabrias and so many of them we got those buses we put some stretcher lifts we put some uh, chair lifts in those buses and we started doing transporting every day two to three schools so our bus will go to them the children will sit in the bus they will come to the recreation center whole day they will play and in the evening with happy faces they will go back this program today is getting to around about 25000 disabled children and i am so proud that we have not spent even 1 rupee on a hotel in last 25 years as a venue management cost so with this kind of a feel i thought meeting sri ramakrishnan today is inspirational to all of us the philosophy i have just read that you went and joined you wanted to go and join navy you know it is said that the serving to the nation through armed forces army navy and air force is something like the greatest thing which you can do it But you have gone much beyond that time. You have gone and you know served your own dream of serving the country through this kind of a life. Recently, I went and met one of these soldiers in a place called Queens Mary Technical Institute. And in that Queens Mary Technical Institute, all the young soldiers who go on a war and who have lost, you know, their limbs, they put them for a rehabilitation program. just two months back i was there and this young gentleman who was just 33 years he had lost both of his legs and both of his hands in the border of china near tawang in tibet and his batch entire troop when i saw i felt very sorry that at this particular age this man is completely you know this kind of a situation but i'll tell you we had one program similar to what radha today and sharad kumar has you know convened and i'll tell you sir in the beginning of the program the rotary people played the national anthem and when the national anthem was played this particular person who was sitting on a wheelchair uh, his name was also incidentally vijay and vijay had tears in his eyes so i went to him and asked him what happened and he said throughout my life whenever there is a national anthem it is my blood it's in my veins to make me stand and give a respect and salute to the country i feel very sad not because i lost my hands and legs i feel very sad that when janagana mana is played i have to sit on a wheelchair and listen to this national anthem and you can understand the feeling of such so many people everyone will have a different kind of feeling today is not a day to tell you everything but one episode i want to tell you before i leave at 7:30 i have to log into the rotary international board meeting sir ramakrishnan ji i have a very very you know a peculiar habit when i meet all these children and i go and ask them or i go and communicate to them and i ask them what is your dream of your life we have always taught in our life you know that dream 
dream of our life can only get achieved with that kind of adrenaline or that kind of a positive sense in your mind once i was in a health camp with one of these disabled school children and there was a very small girl called pooja this girl was hardly around about 9 9 and a half years and i remember when i looked at her her both her legs had formed ammonia and they were like you know kind of a kite and she could not stand so i asked her parents and her parents told me sir we could not get this child because every time to carry this child we don't have so much of money for a transport to carry this kind of a girl we need two people to carry her their cost of stay the cost of bus and taking her and go back with no treatment has made us no hopes in life so i asked this girl pooja i said what is your dream of your life pooja and a very simple thing this pooja told me sir i want to go to the toilet with my own feet and for a moment you know the goosebumps came i never thought that if i ask your children here so many of you are here your children grandchildren if i ask them what is their dream everyone will tell me a very different dream maybe a good college maybe a good car maybe a good cloth maybe a good movie but a dream of a girl saying that i want to go to the toilet on my own was never never an image we operated her i knew that i cannot make any miracles but through the orthopedic team through the physiotherapy team and of course through the walker on the third day i asked this girl called pooja i said now catch hold of this walker and go to the western toilet indian toilet is not very easy for this kind of thing and this girl goes alone and i hear that she closes the door sits on a western toilet and i was so happy in my life that when my parents told me that you should worship god you should do puja every day i thought this puja girl was the real puja of my sons and with that kind of a memory i walked off that medical health camp and her mother came to me and she said puja wants to meet you sir and when i went to meet her this puja girl in her fist was holding something a very very dirty blackish fist because she was always you know on the floor and she put her hand front as a human first my hand was ahead and hand was back looking at the cleanliness but my heart spoke to me and i put my hand front and this girl opened her fist and i saw one small raval gao chocolate in those days the chocolate was there this chocolate was in her hand and she offered that chocolate which was given by her mother and that chocolate the mother told her puja god is there good people are there don't worry the surgery will be positive but this girl did not take the chocolate and she offered me that chocolate on that day i took the chocolate and i took the chocolate and i put it in my mouth and i will tell you ladies and gentlemen that the sweetness of that chocolate still lingers in my mouth and which i call the greatest fee i have ever got on this earth i will only urge people around you need you shri ramakrishnan ji has been a person or a face of a god if you want to replica him i think it is the time today and not tomorrow please think positive god bless you thank you so much amazing inspirational Wonderful. motivational what else i can say there is thank a you, positivity sir. in negativity you know this pandemic has really brought in people like you to rc gindi to listen your amazing words thank you so much our director elect dr magesh kotbagi for having accept, uh, accepted and sharing your evening with us over to you sharat want to talk something please yes sir you are please most welcome no our cameras unmute everybody ask everybody to appreciate the words from our ra director elect sir everybody everybody can unmute themselves and talk sir everybody can unmute i have not uh, muted anyone <laughs> really great to hear the story sir it was really inspiring for me to whenever i meet someone uh, like that i will i am really motivated to help my best as much as i can to uh, to make them feel uh, what you have made them feel so really inspiring and thank you 
uh, for sharing this to us sir thank you thank you so much thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much sir with and your with your permission i'd like to log out i have to just log in with some other meeting thank you very much sir thank you very much sir thank you for having you many more times with roti gindi thank you sir you are most welcome to amar seva sangam sir sure my brother your visit will motivate us more and our children too definitely i'll come definitely thank you sir thank you sir in fact we are uh, Doing door service now for the past five six years, sir. And our thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Ram Krishnan, sir. Ah, uh, sir, thank do we so have much. Shankar Raman still in the meeting, sir? Uh, yeah, because he was talking and he had something uh, left unfinished. Kara Shankar Raman, sir, Karangla meeting, sir. Okay, fine. Mr. Shankar Raman. Looks like he's looks like he's not there. Okay. Ah. Uh, சார் இந்த சைட்டேஷன் அவார்டும் நான் வந்து உங்களுக்கு வந்து அமுச்சிடுறேன் ஸோ எங்கள் மெம்பர்ஸ் சில பேர் வந்து திருநெல்வேலியில் இருக்காங்க அவங்க கிட்ட அமுச்சுட்டு அவங்க வந்து உங்ககிட்ட அது ஹேண்ட் ஓவர் பண்ணுவாங்க தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் ஆனரிங் அஸ் அண்ட் அக்செப்டிங் எஸ் சார் எஸ் சார் தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச் தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச் தேங்க் யூ Vishwanathan Ganesh and Joint Secretary Amar Seva Sangam, I have a few words to say. Okay, sir, please. Yeah, um, we appreciate uh, our Rotary Club of Gindi to uh, honor Patma uh, Shri uh, Ramakrishnan. Uh, we saw the, I, I saw the brief introduction of all of you. Uh, looks like uh, we'll have work for all of you. Very brilliant uh, background of everyone. and i am sure all of you can support amar sabangam sangam in many we welcome all of you to visit to your family to amar seva sangam and probably we have one of your rotary meet in our campus where you can even invite your rotary club of kutalam so uh, we we believe we can work, look forward to work with you in many ways thank you sure sir sure uh, chair shubhar vishwanathan sir So yeah, definitely we are looking forward and definitely we'll make a visit uh, to your campus sure thank you thank you thank you over to secretary bala for the secretary announcement yeah thank you radha anevarku vanakkam secretary board announcement from secretary desk today uh, vikram sarveshwar anat of rotary in kannan celebrating his birthday on agila sridhar and of rotary in sridhar we celebrating her birthday on 29th january daniel joshua and of rotary in david chellappa celebrate birthday on uh, 29th january mala k and of rotary in dinesh muthukumar celebrating uh, her birthday on 30th january tamilarasi and of rotary in kari garden ss celebrates uh, her birthday on 31st january Dr Afrina Imami and of Rotary in Uvais celebrates her uh, birthday her uh, birthday on 31st January Preeti yes and of Rotary in Shriraman or celebrating their birthday on 31st January and uh, wedding anniversary Ganeshan B and is uh, uh, and uh, celebrating their wedding anniversary on 31st January thank you our next meeting the details of our next meeting will be uh, sent through our official whatsapp group thank you thank you and bala after you taking the secretary post do you know that nobody sleeps till 12 o'clock before seeing your wishes in the official group thank you you are doing an amazing job now you saw the man in action now i would like to invite the women behind the man yes. and Ra- uh, raji to deliver the vote of thanks uh, good evening friends I consider myself extremely fortunate to deliver the vote of thanks today. Thank you, President Sharad and the Parabakari team for the opportunity. Gratitude that is felt but not expressed is like a is like a gift that has been bought and wrapped but not presented. So let me share my feeling of gratitude with everyone here. Thanks to the President and to the entire Parabakari team for the novel idea and for recognizing eminent. selfless personalities for the services they render thanks to the chief guest of the day ra director elect rotary dr mahesh 
for Baggy for taking time off and being here with us today and sharing with us some of his excellent thoughts. And I don't know, even you, we can't forget Pooja anymore, I think. <laughs> Our heartfelt thanks to Padma Shri, to Ramakrishnan for the selfless yet soulful service that he has rendered to our society all these years. May God keep you in good health and cheer and give you a long life so that you continue to bless us and inspire more people like us with your presence. May your tribe grow. Our Namaskaram, sir. We thank our former member, Dr. Dr. Venkat Ramani and his spouse, Malati, for their kind cooperation and enthusiasm in helping us reach Mr. Ramakrishnan and Amar Seva Sangam. Our special thanks to Mr. Shankar Raman and Ms. Sita Vaidishwaran of Amar Seva Seva Sangam. Our club advisor, Prodeen Venugopal, passes on a special word of thanks to Mr. Ramakrishnan for his graciousness, courtesy and kindness extended during their various interactions in the run-up to this evening for the evening's award function. Many, many thanks to to Rodeen and Jagannath Ramaswamy for the citation. Words cannot capture the greatness of Mr. Ramakrishnan's service, but you, sir, have managed to capture the essence of it in its entirety. Thank you. A big thanks to Rotary and Radha, our MC for today and for the previous Paropakari Awards as well. You have done a great job, Radha, as the chairman of the awards team. May a glorious job continue. I thank all the Rotarians from other clubs for joining us and for making this occasion even more special. What do I say about the ants today? Right from Anne Akila with her invocation and Sujata with the four witness and Manjula with the thought for the day and Sai Meera with the reading of the citation to Anne Nagalakshmi with the chief guest introduction. Ladies, you have all done a great job chipping in. Thanks a ton and three cheers, three cheers to you. Thank you all so much. Superb, uh, Raji. I never know that you can make a word of thanks so interesting. And Jaggi Ji, if you are there, you have developed a successor beautifully. Thank you, friends. Thank you for joining today's 7th Paropakari meeting.